it's an exciting time. It, we are, I think, at a critical time of finding treatments. There were no treatments at all a few years ago. We're understanding molecular mechanisms. Treatments are coming through. We have this huge number of people who are going to become affected. And those numbers are just going to increase and increase. And at the moment, we have so little that we can uh, offer in terms of, uh, of treatments, and we are still very, very ignorant. We desperately need to be able to understand how uh, these diseases, and there are many, uh, start, how they progress, and most important of all, we need to find treatments. We need to find ways that actually slow the disease. In terms of research in the next few years, uh, there will be some key treatment trials reporting, and that's going to be really, really, really crucial to the future of de dementia research. But I think behind that there's a really positive thing that uh, may not have fed through, which is the idea that we have understood more about some of the uh, genetic causes, some of the molecular mechanisms for Alzheimer's disease and other causes of dementia. And they will feed through and it will only be when we understand the mechanisms and how that interacts in the human brain that we will uh, start to be able to think, OK, we can intervene here, we can slow the process. We're a lot closer to finding cures, because I don't think it will be one magic cure. There will be uh, multiple treatments for multiple diseases. And it may well be that we need multiple treatments for a single disease, much as we've seen in, in other areas of medicine. It's the next few years that are going to be critical. We need more people with more funding, but what we really do, do need is we need to bring in the best uh, scientists from lots of different uh, walks of life. And I think that's a real potential for building up the capacity within dementia research. We've seen it's being done in HIV in a way that uh, when I uh, started doing medicine, this was an entirely incurable, disease for which there were no treatments, that's been transformed. Uh, cancer has, has in, in, a, in a number of areas, really transformed people's survival. We haven't done that in dementia. Alzheimer's Society uh, supports research across the cause, care and cure areas. So that ranges from trying to work out what might contribute to uh, these diseases and they are many diseases, uh, to how best to treat them and also how to care for people.